Hi, I hope you're all having an amazing day today. Today's video is going to be my entire Longchamp collection. So before we get started, I'd like to say if you like these kind of videos, would you please click the subscribe button down below and a thumbs up. And for those of you who already have subscribed, thank you for tuning into another video. So I'm gonna start with small leather goods and cosmetic pouches first and then get into the bags. So if you've watched my channel at all, you've seen these a lot lately. And it is the Powder Pink Longchamp uh, cosmetic bag. And it is quite petite, but it holds all the essentials as silver hardware, pebbled leather. I absolutely love these. I'm actually considering getting the hot pink color. I think it's just called fuchsia in all the same ones. Again, I like it so much. And then this was called the card holder. Again, it just light pink pebbled leather, it says Longchamp. Two slots there, two compartments there, and then a deep compartment in the back. Their leather is just so nice, I really love it. And then the key pouch, which also says Longchamp there. This is one of the few that actually say made in France. No, it's not liking to focus, there we go. And I do have keys on the little key clip, and I usually put my car key in here as well. Love this little piece. And then I bought this piece several years ago in Aruba. They did not have any fun colors, it's just a dark chocolate brown, but I got it to go in um, little mini bags that I have from Louis Vuitton. And I do like this one because it has the little clear place to put your, um, your driver's license in, and then, uh, you can put your bills in there flat and then two other credit card slots on the other side. And again, just beautiful soft leather, just a dark chocolate brown color. The cosmetic bags, I love these. You can use these as a little clutch if you want to because they have the cute little handle and um, they're easy to wipe up since they're nylon if you spill anything inside. I got this one, um, I think a little after Valentine's Day. Uh, sometime in the spring this year. It's a very pale pink. I think that's really, really cute. And then I got this one a couple of years ago on um, one of their semi-annual sales, and it's just a light cream color. Really, really pretty. And then I got the classic red, because I thought that would look so nice in a lot of my Damier Ben bags. I think that'd be really cute. I love the shade of red. They do a really good red. Then for bags, I got, or I have, I guess, I didn't get. <laughs> I have the um, classic Le Pelage in the black. And I love that these are so easy to store the way that they fold up. But here it is, it just has the brown leather handles and just the large black. And then I also got this classic in navy as well. Thought navy would be a good one for summer, well, you know, all year round, but without being black in the summer. And I have carried Neverfulls on planes for many, many years. And my last two trips, I have taken a long shop, and I will never bring my Neverfull on the plane again. Because I usually take it and I will put it in a dust bag to keep it from the ick on the plane floor. When I get to the hotel or wherever I'm going after this, I just wipe this down I mean, just with a damp cloth because it's nylon and it's just, it's nice not to have to worry when you're traveling and it holds a ton. Then last year on their semi-annual sale, I love bright colors, but I have learned the hard and the very expensive way. I will not wear a designer bag or really any bag in a bright color, but I love fuchsia, I love hot pink, so I picked this up on their sale. It does not get used very much, but it also was not very expensive, so I don't mind. It is a crossbody bag. It has this nylon strap that is adjustable, and it's really, really comfortable. And I forget the name of this one, but they do still have it online in other colors. And it just has one zip opening here, a large compartment, and then a zipped opening in the back as well but this is absolutely a great great bag my favorite one that I have this is from I think two years ago it is um, Le Pelage the Neo Fantasy bag and it kind of looks like an animal print to me and it has the black patent leather handles and the closure here 
and I just think it's so, so pretty. I love this one. It's just different, and um, I like their limited edition pieces a lot. And then my last piece that I own is uh, one that I had custom made, and I'll show you how tiny it goes like this. It folds up just like all the other ones. And I brought this one with me to Hawaii, and it came in so handy because I, I used it like this going out and then coming back it gets just gigantic and I have my name embroidered on it and it's the hot pink and the black and this is the size three if you're looking to do a custom and I did the nickel hardware on there and it is just absolutely gigantic I can't even fit it in the frame <laughs> just really really huge love this bag it is so awesome for travel but i just wanted to share that collection with you because i feel like i'm always showing um really high-end designers and i have a lot of contemporary pieces also that are really um not too much you know not too expensive to purchase and um, really are good investments to have in your wardrobe for those days that you don't want to bring you know something flashy or designer or you're going somewhere that could be messy like a hair salon nail salon stuff like that well thank you all so much for tuning into another video i hope you're having a wonderful day today i hope to see you back on my channel again really soon take care bye bye